Hello everyone, welcome back and in today's video we are going to be solving a problem from oscillations in waves and this is uh, question number six from the check your understanding section. So let's read the problem statement. So we have a thin rod of mass m that is welded on the inner surface of a thin cylindrical shell of mass capital M. So what that means is that the mass m does not move uh, relative to our shell. So the composite body thus formed is placed on a horizontal floor. When disturbed slightly from the equilibrium as shown in the figure, it undergoes small amplitude oscillations without sliding on the floor. So, so we have to consider rolling without slipping here. The question is we have to find the period of these oscillations. So let's get into the problem. So let's say the angular position of our mass m is theta with the vertical. So as we consider theta in the clockwise direction, we'll consider the angular acceleration of the composite body also to be in the clockwise direction. Okay, so now what we'll do is we are going to balance torque about the bottommost point. The weight of the capital M mass, that is the spherical shell, it actually passes through the point O, right? So the component of torque due to capital Mg becomes zero, whereas uh, the small Mg will actually provide some torque, right? And we can find that out by finding out this particular distance over here. The radius is R, so this is going to be R sine theta. So the torque of the composite body uh, about the point O comes out to be minus Mg times are sine theta. The reason for the minus sign is because uh, the torque is trying to oppose alpha, right? So I can now write this as the moment of inertia of the composite body above the point O. So we have to use parallel axis theorem here. So as this is a thin cylindrical shell, the moment of inertia uh, about the axis of symmetry is simply m r squared. So we have to add an additional term of m d square and d here is simply r right so the moment of inertia about this point is 2 m r squared and then we also have to add the contribution due to our small m mass but as this is negligible in compared to the capital m mass we don't have to include that uh, in our moment of inertia term so this would become 2 m r squared times alpha so and alpha i'm going to write it as the double derivative of theta okay and as we have to comment on small oscillations we can take the value of sine theta to be approximately theta and finally our expression reduces to the alpha or, or theta double dot is equal to minus mg upon 2 mr times theta so this differential indica equation indicates that the motion of the composite body is simple harmonic in nature so the angular frequency of oscillations is simply the square root of uh, the coefficient of this term so that is square root of mg divided by 2 mr and time period of oscillations is going to be 2 pi square root of 2 mr upon mg so this would be the answer to the problem so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can comment down below and thanks for watching